Hello everybody, Laura here. So I'm wanting to go on and get started on doing the mixed media morsels number one, which is the um, syring and wrap, plastic wrap technique. So that's what I'm going to do today and I'm working in this little book that I just made in my last video and I'm, I just made it so I'm just going on ahead and trying to go on with the number one. but. Um, her mixed media morsels one video she said where it needs to dry overnight so I'm just gonna film um, me doing the technique I'm gonna let it dry overnight and then um, I will come back tomorrow and show you what it looks like and then that will be another video so um, I've got some wax paper that I'm going to stick in here it's my number one page here and I'm going to clip it so that it doesn't curl up too bad. Maybe. Okay. And then I'm going to use this heavier clip over here to see if we can just weigh that down a bit so it'll stay. Okay, so first we need to gesso the page first. So that's what I'm going to do right quick. And this gesso I'm using um, a couple of videos ago where I did a crafty haul. I went to Hobby Lobby. And just bought a very large container of the fine touch gesso and I got this little container to put my gesso in so I don't first of all run out of gesso because I run out of it quite a bit and, um, and then I got the smaller container because I don't want to pull out that big jug every time okay so I've got it gessoed I may do two coats, but um, I'll go on and uh, fast forward this right quick because I'm going to dry it up. Okay, I'm going to do two coats. Dry it up again. You wash off my brush. Okay, and my two colors that I have chose today to work with is this blue turquoise Key West and bright magenta. So we'll see what this turns out to be. Okay. not a lot of this left. I'm trying to use it up. Kind of bubbly. All right. These two together, they start to kind of make a little purple. Okay, got that covered.
And then I've got my plastic wrap here. I've just got a pretty large piece, but we're going to going to see. Okay, let's start. Bunching it together. Alright, so I think I've got it bunched pretty good. I don't know, I've never done this technique before, and so we will see how it turns out. And if you want to go over, and I'll, I will also be leaving a link to Cat Hands video, um, of course, so that way you can go check it out. And she shows you some previous projects she had worked on for what it's supposed to look like. Um, so we will just see how this turns out. And I will show you the end result tomorrow. And this is really blurry, so I apologize. Okay, so I cheated because I'm impatient and I just didn't want to wait till tomorrow. And on one of Cat Hand's videos, she had said how she kind of just dried it with the heat tool, but just stayed really far back when um, using it. And so this is the result. And it really, really worked up in this corner, but I didn't really scrunch it too much. It did a little bit down here. And then down here, I actually ripped it a little bit when pulling it up. But you can kind of see where it started to do what it was supposed to be doing. This corner really did work out what was supposed to happen, but um, I just wish I could have got it scrunched up more on the turquoise spots rather than all just on the purple. So, but this is the first mixed media's mixed media morsels number one, the plastic wrap technique. So, and then this corner up here, all this blurriness of this video, but the corner up here is still white. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of paint right there, probably the magenta to just cover up that top corner. So that is my number one in my little book. So I will talk to you guys later. Sorry, it's so blurry. I'm going to have to try to fix my focus. Um, so anyways, all right. Thank you guys for watching. There it goes. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.